Hey, this is David. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the idler pulley on an electric dryer. You might need to change out this part if it failed testing or has been damaged. Before we get started, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can see more repair guides to help you do it yourself. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Today, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, a number 20 Torx bit, a small flathead screwdriver, and a putty knife. While you're getting those together, remember to keep safety first. Always unplug that power cord before you do any work on your appliances. To replace the idler pulley, Use your Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two console screws from the back. Once the screws are removed, lift up on the control panel to uncover the three quarter inch screws that need to be removed. Once the three quarter inch screws are removed, slide the top panel forward and up to reveal the top of the drum. Next, you need to unplug your door switch. Using a putty knife, push in on the two clips and remove the access panel. Now, remove your dryer vent duct by removing the 3 quarter inch screws surrounding the duct. Once the duct is off, remove the two springs located on the bottom corners of your dryer. Once the springs are removed, go ahead and remove the 2 quarter inch screws that are holding the door panel. Now go to the top of the door panel and remove the two 20-bit torque screws. Now lift up on the front panel and it should come up. Reach under the drum and release the belt from the idler pulley. Then use the drum belt to lift the drum out of the cabinet. Now find the idler pulley and remove the white triangle keeper. Then remove the pulley. You can clean off the shaft with a cloth or paper towel, but do not lubricate or grease the shaft. Once the shaft is clean, install the new pulley and add the keeper. Once you're done, reinstall the drum and drum belt, reattach the belt to the pulley, then the front panel with the door switch. Then go to the bottom and connect your door springs. From there, you want to install the blower housing vent, the bottom access panel. Then you want to go back to the top to put the top panel back on and then secure the console. And don't forget to plug your dryer back in. You made it. Great job and thanks for joining us today. Make sure to let us know how the repair went in the comments. And if you haven't gotten the replacement idler pulley yet, Grab your model number and head over to AppliancePartsPros.com to order one. Orders usually arrive in just a few days. Don't forget to plug your dryer back in and turn that breaker back on. And while you're at it, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you next time.